Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to our channel. We have a fun day planned. We are in Williams, Arizona and we're gonna drive over to Flagstaff, Arizona. We've never been to either of these places before. We're just planning on exploring and finding a couple things to do. Super touristy. You can see Cameron's outfit. I have a very touristy outfit on, but whatever. I think it's cute. I've got this daisy print bucket hat on and just kind of feeling like a mom in this outfit. I think we're gonna go find a coffee shop on Route 66 and then probably a place to get breakfast. We're gonna start the day off right and then find some fun things to do. Right, let's go. We just stopped for breakfast at this little cafe called Pine Country and it's on Route 66. I can't wait to show y'all more of like the downtown area because this place is so cool. We just got done eating breakfast and we're going to get some coffee now. Coffee time. We might do a review. Who knows? <laughs> we're definitely doing a review. Yeah, we are. So we just went to a coffee shop called Brood Awakenings and I got an iced oat milk latte with one pump of vanilla. Black Holbrook. The usual. So we're gonna do our coffee shop review. Short one. Yeah, short and sweet. It's different different than the uh, Waco coffee. <laughs> not as good? <laughs> no, it's still really good. You're just not used to it? I'm not used to it. Mine tastes so good. It tastes just like what I usually get. I'm going to rate mine an 8.7. That's good. I'm gonna rate mine a 7.4. For the atmosphere, what would you rate the atmosphere? 8.5. Yeah, it was a little too crowded in there for me and like kind of kind of noisy, I don't know. There's um, yogurt in there. Oh yeah, they frozen also have frozen yogurt. yogurt. And then what was the other thing? Oh, lastly, customer service. Great. 10 out of 10. Yeah, so sweet. All smiling. Very nice. Very condensed coffee review. Yeah. Now time to go explore. Route All right, 66. we're going to go walk around and show y'all what it looks like down here. All right. Cheers. I do you want to take a cute picture with my coffee and my bucket hat? Right here? No. All right, we are back in the car and I think we're headed to a waterfall now that's here in Williams, so we should be there in a minute. But I forgot to tell y'all that I actually woke up this morning with a crick in my neck, so I can turn my head this way. It's really hard to turn it to the right, so I'm kind of in pain right now if I try to like look over my right shoulder or anything. I looked up a YouTube video on how to get it out, so I've been like doing these little massage things on my neck, so hopefully that works. Also, it's already starting to get really hot here. It was pretty cool this morning. It's insanely hot in Arizona. Like yesterday at the Grand Canyon, there was an excessive heat warning and it was 114 degrees inside the Grand Canyon and it's looking like it's gonna be another freaking hot day in Arizona. trail that we have to go on to get to the waterfall so Zach and I are kind of hiking there right now I changed into some hiking clothes and I'm a little afraid that we're gonna come into contact with a bear because there are black bears here so pray for me y'all if I see a bear I'll probably pass out from fear and then the bear will just eat me that's probably how it would go down Right, so I think we made it to the waterfall, but if you look behind me, that's where it was. But I think it's completely dried up because down there is a little puddle some, of water. Yeah, there's some water down there. It's kind of sad. Whatever. What can you do? There's the water. You can kind of tell where the water has been running. So we didn't get to see the waterfall since it was all dried up, but we did just stumble upon a lake at a campground and it's really pretty. There's a ton of pine trees surrounding it and there's sunflowers. I'm gonna show it to y'all. It 
is so peaceful out here. There's like no one out here. There's a few people kayaking and some campers. The name of this lake is White Horse Lake. Our camper down here. You know we shouldn't have because the road to get here was absolutely insane. Yeah, it was, it was horrible. So bumpy. I didn't film any of it because I was actually terrified, but we were just bumping around all over the place. <laughs> I could only go like five miles an hour. That's yeah. why it took so long. We even almost slid off the road a few times, so it's a little scary. <laughs> We made it back to the truck. We didn't see any bears, thankfully. We are alive and well, and we are headed to our next destination. We're gonna go to Flagstaff, Arizona. Hey. Just made it to Flagstaff, and my camera ended up dying, so I'm finishing my vlog on my phone. But it's been a few hours now, and we're getting hungry again, so I think that Zach and I are gonna look for a place to eat. There's a brewery nearby, so I think we might get a flight of beers and some good food and just hang out for a while. We are leaving Flagstaff and heading back to the camper, but we decided to stop for another coffee because we are both so tired, so we need another pick-me-up. I've never tried Dutch Bros before, so we are going through the drive-thru right now and I'm really excited to try it. My first ever Dutch Bros experience. I'm gonna do a taste test for y'all, but I ordered the 911 and Zach ordered a cold brew because that's what he always gets. Heard so many good things about Dutch Bros and we don't have them in Texas, so this is my very first time. That is so good. It's good. Very smooth. Zach said it's very smooth. Mine is just so good. Honestly, I wish we had this in Texas now because I think I would go here over Starbucks. We're back at the camper now. It has been a really long day. We had fun in Williams and in Flagstaff. My allergies are really kicking in because I don't think I'm used to the climate here. So I just took some allergy medicine. And I'm actually about to go take a shower at the campground shower because something is going on with our water pipes right now. So we're just gonna use those showers for now. Then we are gonna go to bed because we have to wake up early. We have about a five hour drive to our campsite in Utah. But I am so ready to be in Utah because that is one of the states I I've been looking the most forward to and I've never been there before so very pumped about that anyways I will see y'all in my next video thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of our adventures see you soon bye